In the UK, one in four women will suffer abuse. One of the biggest barriers of working with the church is the sort of disbelief that it could happen here, not in my church. Maybe that one down the road, but not in my church. Everything seemed really good until we actually got married and he very rapidly became abusive. For a long time I didn't recognise what was happening was abuse. Uh, he was putting me down, he was pushing and shoving, um, he was making vague threats, but then he punched a hole in the bedroom door up two inches from my face and said, next time it's your face. And then two weeks later it was. It made me realise that he was only ever going to get worse, so I had to go. It took a while for me to work up the courage to say anything to anyone. People in my church had no clue what to do next. Just no clue. A woman will be abused 35 times before she access help and support. So it's really important that if a woman speaks to somebody in the church that they are believed, because that might be the first time that they felt able to disclose that abuse. It's no respecter of age, no respecter of wealth, no respecter of nationality, religion anything, it, any woman can suffer domestic abuse. Women in this country are dying because they're women in abusive relationships at the rate of two every week. I think as a man you can be an advocate by looking at our First Man Standing program, by simply choosing to be an example of a man who refuses to allow misogynistic attitudes. Men within the church need to stand up and say, we're part of the problem, we must be part of the solution, working in partnership with women around the globe. It's particularly important for this younger generation to be more proactive in fighting violence against women because statistics show that the 16 to 24 um, age group is actually the most likely to be affected by violence by a partner. Those cycles of violence have um, effects for the whole of the rest of their lives, whether that's first abuse age 16 and how that relates to different relationships that they have growing up and the way that they might think about marriage and the influence that that can have on their children as well. A Restored really works with and through the church to end violence against women, so we provide training for churches. We advocate to government and at the United Nations. So ways that you can get involved with Restored is download our church pack, it's free. Educate yourself of what is domestic abuse. Get training for your churches. Ask us to come in and train your church on how to respond well when domestic abuse is disclosed. Put up some toilet door posters in the back of the women's toilets so that women know that actually this is a safe space, that this church knows about domestic abuse. And finally, give to Restored. We operate and survive on people that give to us on a regular basis. We can make a difference. We can end violence against women. This is a solvable issue.